This is a little Italian chassis, I suppose. The just the case was Italian. Yeah, the chassis is made in Italy. And uh, the kit wasn't part of it, or was it separate from the chassis? Chip was kit was shipped from California. But you bought the whole thing as a package, right? It was pre-drilled and everything. No, two, yeah, right, two two parts, but yeah, diff different ships. But the chassis was pre-drilled or not? The chassis was pre-drilled. Oh, that's cool. And there's the circuit. Drilled and tapped. There's numerous taps in there also. I presume the side is identical. Yeah. And it works. It's about eight amp. Uh, what? Eight watts. Eight watts yeah. per channel. Per, yeah. Or you can use two of them and bridge per them and get sixteen out of each. And, uh, I really like this chassis. Get a picture of the back here. So it's a nice little kit. Sounds good. Although, you know, it clips pretty readily. I'd like to do a power rating on it. I'm not sure we're getting the full 8 watts out of it, but that's a drama for another day, I suppose. Mm -hmm. There's great docs. So my friend Kurt's just telling me that it's an open source project. So you can get all the uh, information online, and the kit, you know, it's open source, obviously. You can get all the details for the, making the kit. Here's the schematic. It's so open source that the, jet, or the Chinese have readily copied it and are selling it online. Of course. <laughs> Anything they can produce. Uh, parts list. should probably shoot stills of some of these. But if you want the information, you should go online and get the whole shebang. But yeah, what, talk about a talk about a manual here. Holy crap! Yeah, the Southwest Technical Manual didn't look like this. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. Wow, that's what I call detail. Yeah, I guess about testing and everything else here. And then here's the, oh, he's got a Tiger Source ad in there. But he's got all the Amp Camp stuff in here. Let's same thing over again. Interesting. JBL. Oh, the, uh, the woofer and the speeder were JBL. Okay. Yeah, yeah it, was a, it was a sailing speaker, remember? Yeah, I was surprised to see JBL components. Well, they make all kinds of commercial stuff. So this is a cabinet that Kurt made. He made two of them. It sounds pretty good. It's uh, it gives you great bass extension in terms of you know low frequencies that you'd get out of a cabinet of this uh, size woofer. You know, you get great low frequency. Ex uh, I I don't think the it's not quite as bassy as I expected. That may be to an internal thing we're arguing about. This speaker, uh, I'll see if I have the design for it that I can show you. But basically, he's got a board in here somewhere and a port. And my argument is he made the port too small. And then it feeds a channel that goes all the way, wrapped all the way around. There's your back. Quite a bit like some of the speakers I've built, actually. I do a lot with a back like this. But the internals are a little different than I would have done them. Nice, though. It's a, got a real long loop length, which gives you, like I said, good base extension for such a small woofer.